In this video, I'm going to show you three awesome linear grooves that any drummer can learn, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, CJ here, I hope you're all doing well. Most of us drummers, when we start learning the instrument, we learn how to play layered grooves. Layered grooves, just like the name, is that you create layers with the drum grid and create grooves out of that. So for example, you start with eighth notes on the hi-hat, the bass drum plays on one and three, and the snare drum on two and four. But linear grooves means that you play one voice at a time which means that none of your limbs play the drum set at the same time. This creates a whole new feel to a groove and can make it flow in a different way. And after watching this video, you'll be able to play three really awesome linear grooves. Before we get started, all my channel members out there can download everything from this lesson, including the transcriptions, the click tracks, and my drum tracks in the link in the member community tab. So if you want some extra content, consider joining the channel membership. Okay guys, let's start with the first groove. If we look at the transcription, you can see that this groove is based off of 16th notes, and the sticking for this groove is kick, right, right, kick, left, right, right, kick, right, right, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. I'm gonna break it down slowly at first and then gradually increase the speed. And remember, I'm just showing you the sticking and how I play it. You can apply it to your kit however you want. Pretty cool, right? Okay, you guys, groove number two. All right, you guys, this next groove is also based out of 16th notes and played in groups of three with an extra bass drum at the end to resolve the groove. The sticking for this groove is kick, right, left, 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 kick, and then you're back at the one again. Dynamics are what makes a linear groove sound great, so pay attention to the ghost notes and the accents. I'll break it down slowly at first and then gradually increase the speed.
Awesome work, you guys. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out whenever I post a video. Okay, time for the last linear groove. This last groove is also extremely funky. Some drummers call this the Tony Royster Jr. groove, which is understandable because Tony played this exact groove at the Modern Drummer Festival when he was 12. Yeah, you heard me, 12. <laughs> the sticking for this groove is kick, left, right, kick, left, right, kick, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. Again, dynamics are extremely important, so make sure you work on it slowly before you speed it up. You can orchestrate this groove around the drums using the toms, the splashes, the ride bell stacks to get really creative with this groove. I'll break it down slowly and then speed it up. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy these fun linear groups. As a reminder, all my channel members out there can download everything from this lesson via the link in the members community tab. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you want to learn even more awesome drum grooves, check this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.